I'm a really big fan of stir fries. They're so simple and quick to do. For this recipe, I'm using some corn fillets. It's a great way of getting some high quality protein into your dish. These are the fillets that have been defrosted. I'm gonna cut these into slices so they cook quicker. There you go. And now I'm gonna add some oil to the pan. And that's literally gonna take three to four minutes just to color up and brighten off and cook through. Now that the corn fillets have been cooked off, you can see some brilliant you know, caramelization on there that I want to add to the flavor. Now we go to the next element of the dish. We've got some peppers. We've got some carrot buttons. And some green beans. Now the idea is they've been cut to the same size. So what this will do, they will, they will cook at the same time. And this literally is a dish that you know, will cook in sort of five minutes. And now we're ready to add the rest of our ingredients. We've got some pineapple chunks here, some cider vinegar, which goes into the pan. We've got some tomato ketchup, which goes into the pan. And also, we've got our brown sugar, which will add the sweetness. We've got some ginger and some garlic for a real nice depth of flavor. We're going to add a little bit of stock, just to help it cook down. And that wants to cook off for a couple of minutes. We're at the stage now where all of the vegetables are cooked through and, and we're pretty much ready to go. Now, the amazing thing is these corn fillets, they've absorbed all of this sauce. So, you know, the flavor is gonna be running throughout the dish. The sauce is quite runny at this stage. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some corn flour. And then what that will do is actually thicken up the sauce. You wanna cook it off for about a minute or two, just so it all comes down to the right consistency. If you take it too far, then what you can do, you can add a little bit more stock, just to loosen the sauce back up again. And then we're pretty much ready to go. One final thing, I just want to chop through some spring onions. Now we're adding these at the end because we want them to retain all of their freshness. They just go in at the end. And there we go, it's literally as easy as that and we're ready to serve. The great thing about this dish, it's so versatile. You can serve it with rice, you can serve it with noodles, or you can just eat a big bowl of it. Is that good?